I'll say, uh, how did it feel growing up with, uh, like, growing up with 50? Like, seeing how um, he came up? And, um, okay. it, it was the feeling because nobody ever believed. You know, I remember being in, in 50 house and nobody believed. He was playing Get, Some, Get Rich or Die Trying, which is his biggest album. He had some of the songs done already before we got with M and Dre, but nobody believed. And I just feel like I can't believe the level we're on now. You know, 20 years later, and we're still performing. A lot of artists don't make it that long. When no one believed in you, what was the motivation or the fire in you? And Dice Roll, right? Yeah, <laughs> the I'm, fire in you. I, that... think, I think the fire was, was just pray, praying to God. Mm -hmm. You gotta pray on it. I mean, 50 Grandmother was a church lady. Right. So when he got shot, I was like, I think her prayer saved him. Mm. Because she was right outside when he got shot. He got shot in broad daylight where we live, like right in front of his house. Mm -hmm. So I feel like his, the prayers kept him alive. You know, I know everybody believes in different things, mm -hmm. but you know, yeah. you, everybody has, you know, their different gods or whatever they believe in. Right. I know, I, I believe God, like there's different signs. Like I have things I've been through personally, where I'm like, yo, they gotta be a God. Right. To survive a, this. A lot, of, a lot of people look at success like it, it was something that happened overnight, nah. right? Can you talk real quick about you, you know, the being with 50, oh, being with oh, yourself, oh, we used to work, go, work ethic. Oh, we was in Columbia every single day at the office. I mean, before 50 got shot, he had a song with Destiny Child, mm -hmm. Beyonce. A lot of people don't know that. Then he got dropped. Mm -hmm. So when he got dropped, what would you do? After you got shot, you got beef with one of the biggest guys in your neighborhood. I, I would think 50 would have gave up, but he came back stronger than ever. Right. See, that, that's why people love the 50 Cent story because it's the underdog coming up. Right. You know, he got shot nine times, thought the career was over, shot in the face, mm -hmm. and he came back and was like, yo, we gonna work, we gonna work. We drove a burgundy minivan, no AC, <laughs> no money. Right. <laughs> and he was going back and forth. But the process of him being in Columbia, right. he was at Columbia Records every day. Cause that's the type of guy 50 is. A lot of people think they working. You're not working. Mm -hmm. you, trust me, you're not working. When you're yeah. around 50 Cent, you're gonna know you're working. We come off tour, he's going off set to do the Stallone movie. Mm -hmm. He's doing this, he's writing scripts. So when he's in his room, he's not just Lounges, fiddling his, yeah. yeah, he's not just on Instagram all day. He's reading probably two, three scripts. How'd that rub off on you? Every day, that's why, why I'm here now. Right. 